Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and today we are going to take a look in on the Red Wiggler only bins. So let's have a look and see what they've been doing. So the top is fairly dry, and it looks like I have a good amount of springtails springing in the underneath layer. Um, I'm going to have to get my microscope out so that people can see them a little bit. So I don't know, if you're on a big enough screen, maybe you can see these little white things hopping. Maybe not. I can see them. All right. So it looks like they are doing a pretty good job eating um, the bedding and the food from last time. There's a sticker. And just kind of turning everything up here. We're having a pretty serious uh, cold snap in here. It's going to be for a couple of weeks and we are well below zero, uh, or below freezing rather, depending on if you're Celsius or Fahrenheit, uh, zero is relative. But it is about two degrees here uh, Fahrenheit, which is negative teens, negative high teens, if I believe. I remember correctly. Um, I can just put it in there when I get back to editing. Uh, which makes my normally 60, 65 degree basement in the upper in the upper 50s. So, so yeah, it's 56 degrees down here. This is this is pretty cold for down here. So let me see. Mix in that top layer so it gets to be part of the regular moisture moisture level and I think I fed on the end so let's see if we can find anything look at that they've eaten everything but the skin and in their defense it's been over probably a week and a half since I've been down here and uh, not not gonna find a worm ball they've already eaten up all of the banana peels and just the very smallest amount of anything left tea bag so all right then they are definitely due from for some more food so I'm gonna throw down what was left of the last feeding over there in the corner and let me find them something to eat um, one of the problems with buying things and picking them up is that sometimes when you buy produce and the people who pick it out, they don't do as good of a job as you would and you end up with avocados that are in rough shape before you ever get to them. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I'm going to turn it into worm food. Had some carrots that have gone bad on me. And since it is kind of cool, I'm not going to go over the top feeding them, uh, but I'm going to give them some grit, which that's uh, oyster shell and egg shell together, and then I'm going to cover them up. Looks like the stem of a pumpkin or something, put that under there. And uh, so right now, nothing super exciting because it's very cold down here. And so I'm not going to give them a lot of food because they're not going to be very active at 55 degrees Fahrenheit. So let me get this out of the way and I'll get the smaller bin and we can look and see what they've been doing. All right, we got the smaller bin here. Same thing, top part's kind of dry. Move that over and get it out of my way. If anybody's keeping track, still have the corn in the bin from this summer. Kind of dig through here and see what we've got. I had been leaving the lid off of these because they had been getting wet again. It's just the depth of this bin. Um, you can see how this is a comfortable moisture that I don't think is too much, but I've left the, the lid off for a week or so to make sure that it stays in that range. I think this is a potato peel. It's 
weird. It kind of looks like a peanut butter cup wrapper, doesn't it? Just kind of flipping things over. It's been a week or more since I've been down here, so I don't really expect to find a worm ball. I didn't give them that huge of a, a feeding last time that it would have lasted this long. Under onion. Yeah, the red wigglers and the European night crawlers seem to just keep doing fine at this temperature um, in the 50s. Now, the African night crawlers would have stalled out and probably died by now at 50 degrees, um, which is why they have to be upstairs with the bonsais, and these guys can be in the basement. These are not my problem, children. These hardworking worms, not fussy about temperature. So yeah, there's there's no food left except for a couple, you know, potato peels and and stuff. So I'm gonna give them some food as well. Give them a handful of carrots. Those carrots were just not doing well in the in the refrigerator. They just you know went too long. Give them some avocado. And so they'll be able to get to the avocado pretty fast, but they won't, the carrots will take a while. So that should keep them for another week or so. I wouldn't be surprised if it came back here in a week and didn't really see a lot of action as far as removing the food and consuming it. I imagine they'll be into it, but I don't think they'll go through it. Just gonna bury that other stuff up there. Oops, I think I forgot to give them grit. Hold on. Let's see. Back to the excavating. All right, so give them some grit. Yeah, didn't have a mask on there, but I am hiding in my sweatshirt, if that matters. All right, so that's it for them. I'm gonna put this back on top and mix it in. I think it's staying at a nice moisture. I can put the lid back on now. Um, but that'll be it for the red wigglers for right now. Um, like I said, they're they're healthy, but you can tell they're slow. It's cold. My hands are cold now from digging in it. Okay, guys. Well, that's it for the red wigglers. Okay, guys. That's it for the red wigglers today. Uh, if you like the video, give me a muddy thumbs up. And if you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.